choose the right cooler for your CPU. Stock coolers versus aftermarket coolers. Stock coolers that come with many CPUs may be adequate for general use but tend to struggle under heavy loads like gaming or rendering. Consider upgrading to an aftermarket. Air or liquid. Cooler for better thermal performance. Air cooler, high-end air coolers. Like the Noctua NH, D15. Offer excellent performance with large heat sinks and fans. These are great for mid-range to high performance. Systems that don't require extreme cooling. Liquid cooler, AIO all-in-one, AIO, liquid coolers. Such as the Corsair H100i. Offer superior cooling for overclocked CPUs or high-performance builds. AIOs help keep your system quieter while providing better thermal efficiency. 2. Apply high-quality thermal paste. Type matters, use a high-quality thermal paste like Arctic MX-4 or Noctua. NTH1. Some pastes have better thermal conductivity than others, which can help lower temperatures by a few degrees. Application, apply. Just a small pea-sized amount or an X. Pattern on the CPU center before installing the cooler. This will spread evenly when pressure is applied. Ensuring proper contact between the CPU and heatsink. 3. Ensure proper airflow in your case. Intake and exhaust balance for optimal cooling. Ensure you have an appropriate balance of intake, front, bottom, and exhaust fans, top, rear. This creates a positive airflow that moves cool air in and hot air out. Fan configuration, a good rule of thumb is to have more intake fans than exhaust fans. This prevents dust from getting sucked into the case from all openings and helps direct cool air over the components. Four, optimize fan curves. Control fan speeds, set custom fan curves in your motherboards. Bias or with software like MSI Afterburner. Fan curves allow you to control how aggressively your fans spin based on temperature, ensuring they cool efficiently under load while staying quiet at lower temperatures. PWM fans, consider using PWM, pulse width modulation, fans. These fans adjust their speed automatically based on temperature, offering more precise control over cooling. 5. Keep your case clean. Regular dusting, dust buildup, can block airflow and reduce the cooling efficiency of your CPU cooler and case fans. Use compressed air to clean your case, fans, and cooler every few months. Dust filters, install dust filters on your intake fans if your case doesn't have them. These filters can significantly reduce dust buildup inside the case, keeping your components cleaner for longer. 6. Optimize your case layout. Cable management, tidy up your cables and keep them out of airflow paths. Proper cable management improves airflow and keeps your system looking clean. Component spacing, if possible. Ensure there's enough space between components to avoid trapping heat. A cramped case can lead to inefficient cooling. 